हेलो हेलो वेलकम बैक टू अव एपिसोड ब्रांड न्यू यू सी एल रिव्यू एपिसोड फ्रॉम टॉप कॉर्नर फ्रॉम द हाउस ऑफ स्पोर्ट सर्कल ऑल ऑफ आस आई हियर जिमी हाई हाई शिवाम हाई सुजय हाउ हाउ फन वॉज दैट हाउ फन वॉज द फाइनल लेट्स जस्ट ओ फाइनल हाउ हाउ फन वॉज दैट a brilliant match a brilliant match no we we spoke about it when the match ended just after and uh, i think it was a great match a befitting match for a for a final glad to see the fans back we were discussing yeah. uh you know as as soon as i switched on the tv i was like you know the stadium looks amazing the fans the atmosphere looks great this what this is what was missing the last time around in the previous matches and everywhere and you know i think both the teams played very well congratulations to chelsea they played exceptionally well but city were also good and it was a high octane high energy yeah you know great great intensity in the match it was all action it was all action it was yeah. non stop it was yes. breakneck speed and it was a tactical tactical battle more so than anything else which i yeah. think well, one which guardiola lost one which guardiola lost probably before the game started yeah, before before the game started yes, yes. <laughs> yeah, he lost he lost the duel because of his overworking mind you know thinking always yeah. overworking so that's so, yes. that been his criticism for the last few years that when come the big game come the important champions league games guardiola overthinks his strategy overthinks his his lineups this whole season in the champions league he did not do that to his credit right up until the semi final he did not do anything of that sort went in with a tried and tested formula okay there was still experimentation but there was still a solid um, solid reasoning behind yes. solid yeah. reasoning behind it all when all of us saw the lineup yeah we were genuinely shocked as to why there is no actual any recognized defensive midfielder because all said and done manchester city have been great defensively this season Ruben Diaz and John Stones have been getting a lot of plaudits, but a lot of credit also has to go to the work done by the likes of Rodri and Fernandinho to support those guys. Yeah, yeah. Those guys. yes, yes. And in the biggest game of their history, Manchester City's history, the biggest game was the Champions League final. That was their first time. Definitely. And in the biggest game, he decided not to go with that one crucial component, and that is where the goal came from, by the way. Yes, yes, it did. Yeah, I mean. Yeah, I think he over th- over thought about itself, and you know, he thought maybe maybe placing five attacking players is going to put pressure there and get an early goal, which he was not able to because what he didn't realize is that Chelsea had a fantastic defense, True. and mm. uh, you know, and and a, and a very stable uh, uh, midfield with Kante there. I mean, the oh, five, yeah. <laughs> players, you know, uh, he 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 just didn't think about that. Uh, I think properly, and that's what cost them the game and uh, the trophy. Yeah, true. Um, yeah, we can't even really. speak about maybe in a minute or so. Let's talk about the rest first because it is literally rest and Kante. In the rest, um, what what actually impressed, uh, at least impressed me the most was uh, how Mason Mount was tireless off the ball, apart from being absolute quality on it, mm. and Tuchel's use of his his full backs, his oh yeah, wing backs, so to say, because. Mm. more often than not he was being able to create double two on one situation mm. yeah on, on both the wings and on both the flanks zinchenko probably wasn't the right pick i know he's been decent over the last few months but probably wasn't the right pick for this particular game because he was outplayed because of his pace yeah, yeah. initially werner had started on the on the left wing against uh, kyle walker but when mm. he was getting no joy he moved over to the other side and that is where he absolutely mm. ran zinchenko racket he did not let him breathe at all so he there were a few missteps in in there yeah 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 i and think a, a lot you know and also a chelsea's plan of going ahead and you know uh, placing chilwell and placing kante against mares and against de bruyne 
and uh, both of these people the both of these players just couldn't move the way they usually play they couldn't play because they were really really tied down by these two and that's where in the first half we saw that uh, you know manchester city was not able to produce many chances for themselves because they were really really tied up and they had no answer to that yeah yeah that true well you know really rudiger special mention rudiger he mm. was brilliant i mean aspilicueta was great uh christensen came in after thiago silva got injured in the first half he also put in a very good shift but rudiger man he was an absolute gem in the defense for chelsea yeah i mean uh, that that his first that block last that... Second, that last minute block against uh, foden like where it seemed like he was foden was about to score in the first half and he came out of rudiger came out of nowhere and just blocked it and you know just blocked that shot which which probably would have you know ended up Mm. uh at the back of the goal and you know rightly so jay i think you cannot point at one player uh, in that chelsea lineup who didn't perform his duties well that day werner you just cannot i werner mean werner did miss a couple of good chances yes the, the which which you know we we won i think chelsea fans must have gotten used to but he but even werner ran the channels very well yeah. he stretched yeah. their defense and this is where the goal came from he stretched diaz forced him to run with him so that havertz could get in this was brilliant thinking by the forward line and you know havertz was a big surprise for me starting we discussed it and havertz was the only selection that we didn't see starting the match maybe later on in the game but uh, he had the biggest one of the biggest impacts he scored the goal and how cool was he when he was doing it he, this really shows the composure this True. kid has and uh, you know uh, chelsea were phenomenal every player every position from reese james to chilwell they handled their positions exceptionally well rudiger and uh, christensen and kante kante was kante was everywhere <laughs> kante held three offensive midfielders of city almost by himself he at one point everywhere. he didn't he let them pass. in the midfield he was literally everywhere like that that joke that that's been running on and on about kante oh, yeah. <laughs> 70% earth is covered by water rest is covered by rest is covered by can't that, that was yes. a very very good demonstration of that the the champions yes. league and by the way yeah champions league semi final both legs against real madrid and champions league final man of the match in golo man Wars. of the match yes yes yes, yes. I, and deserved i i love that player i and i hate the fact that he plays for chelsea yeah I, kind of we kind of regretted when he was you know when when there was link ups of him and when he decided to go to chelsea we knew he was going to be a miss to other and he's going to be a threat to other premier league kings but boy has he taken he is he just is like phenomenal with what he does defensively and with his ball carrying abilities i mean gundogan unfortunately was asked to mark him he had no answer can't really blame him but he had no answer okay final question before we wrap up the fi- the, the talk about the final and move to the rest can't ever balance your yes 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 yeah i mean a big big contender big big contender has to be here i'm going to i'm very yeah, dominating I mean, player extremely dominating it. player extremely agile is extremely extremely why good extremely and so you on the field ha this is like why should we come to that Why shouldn't he? He's always smiling. He is always smiling. Ah. Yeah, he's he's give fun. Him, give him, give him everything. Give him all the awards. Give him just everything. true sports person. Yeah, yeah true sports, sports person. person and humble. just what a what a player, what a performance again. What what a person too. I mean, hmm. so humble even after that victory and just just he is he's brilliant. I mean, brilliant to watch. He's one of my favorites too. Amazing. So yeah, for him, of course. outside of the final the season was a very good one to be fair we had a lot of yeah. flashes we had a lot of uh, good moments we had a lot of key yeah. highlights so let, let's take a look a at a lot the, of uh, highlights of the season yeah a lot of a lot of mini games per se right so yeah. a lot of small battles going on too true so yeah uh, i mean this was a great season uh, for yeah. champions league too. another really highlights. really one of the key highlights the one of the big big ones for me how well psg performed up until yeah, again they up until the semi final they did uh, came out of a fairly a bit, difficult group it wasn't any straight it wasn't a straight forward group with united and no. leipzig 
and uh, on their way to the semi final they managed to beat uh, barcelona and bayern munich last year's winners yeah last year's uh, very final strong bayern munich at the allianz arena at bayern munich's home ground yeah. <laughs> a very yeah. big performance so yes and we were expecting psg to go to another final this time but uh, city hold i up. was actually yeah i was i mean uh, not the way they started the tournament they started with a loss uh, but they picked themselves up i think uh, you know the initial jitter initial uh, lack of fitness of course it was going to hamper every team uh, but psg picked themselves up up until the semi finals which by the way i think they sort of you know had the upper hand uh but then they let it slip actually in the first uh, leg in in the in the first match after the first half it it was kind of their fault that they were trying to defend a one nil lead against how, a team like it was mbappe this season, this this champions league season fantastic fantastic as he all I, against the big boys player. against the big boys against the likes of barcelona and bayern munich barcelona chalo this year they have not been that great but bayern munich that performance was brilliant so uh, yeah yeah Special good. Uh, um, speaking of Bayern, hmm. I was expecting the, the the way the team was shaping up, the 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 way they were performing. I was expecting another final run at least, if not a victory. It was a shocker. It was a shocker that they lost against PSG. That to three two at home. Hmm. Uh, you know, I I think that match in itself came on a little too early, right? Yeah. it did and you know bayern bayern were ca- caught napping in that game they were a bit slack you know in that okay. particular game the defense was not totally in you know uh, <clears throat> working the way it was it's supposed to work and uh, they did con- considered a lot of passes in that match as well yeah. so i think uh, that's why you know they were a bit slack and they had to pay heavily for it so they lost it yes true, true. yeah um, but it's a it's a final level match that we got to see you know so early on in the tournament Okay. it was a final year before so at the end of the day in so, the champions league there are no easy games outside of the first few yeah no games. none so none. that's that's to be expected at, the the at any given stage you have to expect that that to apart from city obviously apart from manchester city getting an easier <laughs> yes easier run easier group and easier run in compared to yeah except for psg but yeah psg yeah. just um apart from bayern um another disappointing team was inter milan this season Inter, yes. Yeah, uh, I mean, compared to Manchester United, the way they gave the game away, and uh, you know the way they get they played in this, uh, a lot was expected out of them, but they just they just they just were not out there. They just couldn't perform the way the people expected them to perform. The fans expected them to perform. Inter, you know, they finished last in the group. Well, Germany, yeah. That group, you know. So yeah, Inter, Inter was a Inter was a big disappointment. They could have done much much better. Inter, they had a I huge potential. Yeah. Inter that whole group with Real Madrid, Inter Milan, uh, Mönchengladbach, Shakhtar. Shakhtar. See, the most interesting group turned out to be the most damn squeak group because you know yeah. it seemed like nobody wants to win in that game. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Inter, Inter, and that <laughs> Real Madrid qualified for the next stage with just ten points from six games. That tells you the state of that group. Yeah, Absolutely. I mean they you you remember that heavy loss they faced against Shakhtar. That was yeah. a brilliant match. And Shakhtar didn't even have all their uh, players in the squad, and they but, still, but Inter, you know, that that Inter should the... have done better. Inter should have done better. Inter that could is... have, should have. Especially, I mean, especially for Serie A champions, they they did. for Serie A champions for a team that the reached title. the finals yeah. last year of you of Europa League. Yeah, I mean, yes. Coming out of that group that shouldn't have been shouldn't have proved that that difficult for but, Inter. No, no, I think. Yeah. going in they must have they don't i don't think they must have thought of it as the toughest group i think that one would have gone down to the group that contained psg united leipzig i think that in itself was a tougher group because these these three teams are yeah. much stronger and of course it's disappointing that united also lost but inter firstly should have passed their group more easily yeah. but they were last i mean they they had six they didn't points to the europa so that is that is a shocker yeah. But let's see, exactly. let's see what they what they say over next time because now that Conte is also gone, I don't know what will happen mm. to them. Um, yeah, and one one big highlight for this season was Cristiano Ronaldo and Lionel Messi in the same. Oh yes, group. this yeah, this is one for the fans, isn't it? Yeah. This is one yeah, for the fireworks. you you went <laughs> in you went group in of the fireworks, fireworks group. Yeah, you went yeah. in Barca in the same group. 
Barca won the first game and interestingly both won away games. Barca won at, <laughs> yes. uh, Juventus and Juventus, Juventus won at uh, Barca. The first game. And Ronaldo two. was not playing in the first game and they won. Yeah, know, Ronaldo. Uh, yeah, he wasn't yeah, Ronaldo didn't play the Barca, first game. Barca won the game 2-0. Messi scored one, obviously. And in the return mm. picture, Ronaldo was back and he scored two. So, that, that mm. personal battle between these two le- absolute legends of this game just kept going. and It, it's, it still kept going, right? I hope. I, yeah, you know, both the right. teams. I hope we see more of that next season also. Yeah? I mean, Oh, huh. uh, definitely. I mean, oh, yes. so it adds to the excitement, it adds to the pace. It's, yeah. it's lovely, yeah. it's, it's addictive to watch. Why not? I know both their futures are uncertain at their respective clubs, but I hope to see that battle again and again. And yeah, wherever they be, wherever they be. And uh, both the teams ended up on the same points. Yeah, and Juventus, such is the level. Yeah, Juventus came in first because of the aggregate 3 2. Because the aggregate and the goal difference. But, but uh, speaking of absolute legends, and now moving from there to somebody who might be on that path, Erling Haaland. The way the way these how, kids have started, yes. How amazing is Haaland? How amazing is that guy? I mean, if fantastic, if, fantastic. If somebody were to get into a lab and hmm. see that okay, I'll make a, I'll I'll synthesize a perfect forward, a perfect attacker, a perfect, perfect goal scoring striker. Guy. A perfect goal. Yeah. I don't think they would go far off from what Erling Haaland is right now. He just is an. Yeah, he's. I mean, you know, so you rightly said physically he has almost all the attributes. He's got speed. He's got strength. Yeah. He's got agility, and he's athletic, and he's just fantastic. He wants to score goals. He's put. He's you know made that very clear uh, with with his play and. With, with his words as well, that he he loves scoring goals. He's a proper striker. He has that instinct. And, you know, 10 goals for Dortmund. Uh, a team that... By, by, they, they only they, till quarterfinals. Yeah, yeah. Right? And only till quarterfinals. So, man, this boy has got a huge future. True, true, true. And uh, we are all... Him and Mbappe, they are on a fast track to... Yeah, of course. Sort of. Mbappe... Is already has achieved so much at such a young age. Yeah. Uh, you know, and you know, he has at least a decade plus to go, and it's a little scary to think how how much he can win True. both with his club and with his country. Because you know, France are firm favorites for everything that they try and contend with. So yeah, I think that was the the Champions League season in highlights. That was the takeaways, at least for me. For, for the championship yeah. season this time. It was a good one. It was it had a lot of very good matches throughout. So that is always fun to watch. And yes. um, obviously Kante featuring in most of these and playing the way he does. I hope he can continue for long and I just hope he does not perform against Liverpool. Baki <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. But you know yeah, again, uh, he will. <laughs> congratulations to Chelsea. This, yes, there, uh, there to is. all the players and to, to all the players, to, to so J- and to Frank Lampard, and to yes, yes, to, to both the managers. I think Lampard played his part, they, they were there in the group stage, yeah. he was there in the group stage. So, yeah, I mean, it was his squad basically. <laughs> True. It was <laughs> assembled by him, it was, it was assembled him. by him and uh, Roman. So, yeah, big congratulations to Chelsea, all the Chelsea fans. Exactly. And uh, we'll, we hope to see another exciting season next time around. Yes. Yes. It's been a very, it's been a high for Chelsea. This season they've ended on a high and, uh, you know, I'm pretty sure the next season they will start with a high and let's see how they perform next season as well. So, yeah. Chelsea's done really, they, really well. Yeah, you're right, uh, Jimmy. They start as favourites. In a lot of things, uh, next year I mean, they strong. They yeah. start as very, very strong contenders. A couple of with areas the squad and with the manager that there. A couple of areas to strengthen, but the rest is absolutely. But of course, huh? We talk. They got really, yeah. really good. Let's squad. see what happens. So no, no team is perfect. So. Yeah. So, yeah. Let's, let's, see let's see what happens. I think we should wrap this up now. Sure. Um, it was yes. an absolute fun talking about Champions League throughout the season, and uh, let's see how the next season goes. Before I, before I end, one more shout out 
in Golo Conte for Ballon d'Or. Guys, whoever hey, hey. whoever is watching, whoever is watching at home, if you support this, please please do drop a comment with just saying Conte for Ballon d'Or. <laughs> let's try our let's try and make our limited voices be heard to the powers that be. And uh, let's try and get that message as far and as wide as possible. Share this video yeah. in your spirit. Share this video with as many friends as possible. Subscribe to the channel. We're, we're starting with the Euro previews very soon. Before that, there will be the league reviews out in a, the next few days. And all of that should be fun. And a lot more content outside of football also coming to the Sports Circle channel. So all of that should be great. Subscribe to the channel. Like this video if you like the conversation about the Champions League review and uh, share. And uh, again, Conte for Ballantyre. Here, here. Yep. All right. Bye, guys. Bye.